Martin Murray, Sergio Martinez fight for the middleweight championship of the world. Um, this fight was held in Argentina. Sergio Martinez wanted to fight there. He hand-picked Martin Murray for this fight. He was coming off of a uh, knee surgery and because of the Chavez fight, and he had hurt his hand. So, you know, it was over 40,000 people, 40,000 strong was there for the fight, all rooting for Martinez, you know, to put on a good performance. Um, what happened in the fight? It was a very close fight, very close fight. Um, rounds one through three, Martinez, I thought, won the first three rounds because Martin Murray just didn't open up. Not to say that Martinez landed a lot of shots. He landed some shots, but Martin Murray just did not throw enough punches. He kept his tight defense. So I thought Martinez won the first three rounds. Um, <clears throat> rounds four, five, six, Martin Murray started to open up a little bit more. And I thought uh, he won those next three rounds. I thought Martin Murray won four, five, and six. And through six rounds, I thought it was an even fight because Martin Murphy landed more punches than Martinez. Round seven was a close round, but I thought Martinez did enough to win round seven. Round eight, Martin Murray knocks Martinez down in the fight, and it was real concern in the crowd, like saying, "Wow, the hometown hero, he's getting knocked down, and he's fighting a you know tough opponent." It's, it's a very close fight. Round nine, I thought Martin Murray. Could have won round nine, you know. I, I just say he could have won round nine. Round ten, again, Martinez goes down, but the ref didn't call it a knockdown. If I'm correct, the ref said as he was going, as the punch landed, and as he was going down, Martin Murray stepped on his foot. So that's why they didn't call it a knockdown. Me personally, I mean, it's the it's the, the ref's call. It could have been called a knockdown. Even a punch did land. It could have been a knockdown. It could not have been a knockdown. Me personally, it could have went either way. Uh, I think they even re the WBC even replayed it, and they and they was in agreement with the ref that it wasn't it was a, it wasn't called it wasn't ruled a knockdown. But I think it should have been. But nonetheless, it wasn't. Um, rounds 11 and 12, I thought Martinez definitely did enough to close out the fight. Um, Martin Murray was stunned. If I'm correct, if it was not the 11th or the 12th round, Martinez, you know, let his hands go. He did what he had to do to suck it up and pull out the fight. Um, honestly, the ruling of the fight, all three judges had it 115-112 which minus the knockdown would have meant that Martinez won eight rounds, Martin Murray only won four rounds. I honestly feel that the fight was a draw. I think it was. Even though Martin Murray just didn't do enough in the first three rounds, which probably cost him the fight. If he had let his hands go more, maybe the fight would have maybe the fight would have been even closer. Who's to say? But honestly, I thought the fight could have been a draw or the fight could have been one point either way. That's my opinion. That's how close I thought the fight was. Now, as far as a three-point victory for Martinez, no. I, I think he only got that because he was in Argentina. But me personally, I thought the fight was a draw or it could have gone either way one point. And I'll leave it at that. I know there's going to be some people that will say, oh... I'm just saying that because I thought Martinez or Martin Murray, I'll just leave it at that. A draw, I was fine with, or a one-point victory, either way. But Martin Murray has to understand. He has to understand something. This has been going on in boxing for many years and decades. If you're going to fight the champion at on his home turf, you have to understand. You have to take his title. You can't do enough to think that maybe you thought you won the fight and then leave it in the hands of the judges if it's close and then think you're going to get a decision it's just not going to work it's not going to work it's not going to happen you want that man's title you go in there and you take his title you beat him to the punch and 
and leave no shadow of doubt to say, you know, uh, maybe I thought I lost or whatever. Because I'm just being honest, the last two rounds, Martinez pulled out the last two rounds. Martin Murray just didn't do enough. And like I said, he was stunned. And I think it was the 12th round. He was just he was stunned. Not that he was hurt. But, you know, all over, overall, it was a good performance by Martin Murray. He, should, he shouldn't feel no shame in this loss because it was a close fight. And he gave the champion of the world all he can handle. And then some. Um, Martinez said he hurt, re-injured re himself in his fight. I mean, he's 38 years old. How much more does Martinez have before it, before his skills aren't going to take him to the promised land of a victory? Um, I think he should take some time off to heal. I think he re-injured his uh, knee and his hand again. I think he should really take some time off to heal. This is the end of April. If he's going to fight again, maybe fight at the end of the year. But just take some time to just rest and recoup. Um, where does Martinez go from here? If he does fight again, which I more than likely he will. Me personally, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to see him fight Chavez Jr. again. Because he convincingly beat Chavez Jr. through 11 rounds. And without the exception of Martinez getting a little reckless in the 12th round, Martinez would have pitched a shutout. So, for me to see him fight Chavez again wouldn't really do anything for me. I wouldn't want to see him beat him up again. And if he does decide to go that route, I'm sorry. I think Chavez Jr. would have to earn it. I don't think just because he's Chavez Jr., he should just be handed another uh, a title fight with the champ of the whole wide world. I think if I feel if Chavez gets into the shot the title, he should fight someone in the top three. You got Daniel Gill, you got Triple G. Uh, fight someone who's who's noteworthy to say, okay, well, all right, he's earned his, he's earned another shot. Just not by him going to fight some ham and egger, and then all all of a sudden he's the greatest thing since sliced bread again. I don't think that's fair because there's just other people who are higher in the rankings than he is that that would deserve a shot at Martinez. You know, so that's my that's my view and, and, and take on that. Um, leave your comments and I'll respond to them all. Thank you.